All right, now we're going to move into a portion for audio demonstration. And we're going to be feeding a signal into our signal in. Uh, let me ensure that my settings are all the way to the default setting, so bit crushing all the way to the minimum, and then sample rate all the way to the maximum. And I'm going to be feeding a little bit of signal in here to our bit modifier. And we're going to take a listen to what exactly this does. So I'm making sure everything's in default, so bit crushing all the way to the minimum, sample rate all the way at the top, so we hear dry signal, and then mode switch is going to be in mode position 1. Um, as we saw a little bit earlier, there is a lot of different modes on here. I'm only, for the purposes of this first part of the demo, going to go into a few of them. I'm not going to go into every single mode. But So let me get my track ready. I'm going to get a patch cable, and I'm going to be patching our track into our signal in. And uh, in case you're curious about this particular track, uh, its title is uh, it's called Texas. And uh, it's by an artist called Merriman, who is a friend of mine. And uh, I got permission from him to use it in this video, in case you're curious. Uh, and we're going to be listening to that. So I just wanted to precursor this a little bit so you know what we're listening to. Um, and if you are interested in that track, and for whatever reason, uh, you can do a Google search on it, and I'm sure you'll find some stuff. Uh, so we have our track patched into Signal 1, and then there's our uh, level knob. We're going to have it about the 2 o'clock position, and let's hear what our track sounds like coming in. Here we go. So this is our dry track coming in. Okay, so here you have your basic uh, techno dance track coming into the Dofer A189 voltage control bit modifier. And I just want you to get the sound of it in your ears before we go in and start doing a little bit of bit crushing. Okay, so this is our dry signal. And now I'm going to start moving in the bit crushing setting. And around the two position, we should already hear some distortion. So here we go. You can hear a little bit. So right there, you can hear that we already have a healthy level of distortion coming in. We're going out from our module here. We can bring it up a little bit. Okay, and you can definitely hear the distortion there at, the, at that point. We're going to go a little further here. There we go. We're approaching our maximum bit crushing. And right there, we're at our maximum. So you can get some fairly interesting effects going on with your uh, with your vocals or with whatever drums you feed to this particular module. You can get some very interesting sounds coming out of this module. So let's hear our dry signal again real quick. Bring them back to dry signal. Get crushing all the way to the minimum. Let's go back to the halfway mark. Okay, so you get the idea of mode one. Now let's try mode two. So this is mode two. Now let's 
suggest the big crushing and see that sounds we get out of this one. Interesting. So we actually get a little bit closer to our dry signal, all the way at the maximum setting in mode two. Bring it back, y'all. Then let's go back in the other direction. And so it seems as though it's actually distorting in the opposite direction. And this is our and mode here. Okay, so that's mode two. I'm gonna bring it back to the mid level. I'm gonna go to mode three. This is our or mode. I'm gonna bring the bit crushing up a little bit. And there, it, for the most part, is a shadow of its former self. Now you can hear a little bit more of the signal with the halfway mark. There we get our nice overdriven sound. Okay, so that's mode three. Let's try mode four. This is called the XOR mode. That's about the 10 o'clock position. So maybe go up just a little bit. mode you can hear sounds just slightly different than the last and the settings on your dial actually change as you move from mode to mode so again just different flavors of distortion now we're going to try mode 5 and this is our bit shift to the right so I'm going to adjust the bit crushing down a little bit And there we get a very harsh, abrasive sound, almost like a white noise, almost. And there we pretty get, pretty much get close to white noise. Okay, so right now we're in mode five. Let's go to mode six. There we go. Now we got white noise again. Back this way. There we get kind of a overdriven signal again. All right. So now we're gonna go to mode seven. And then when we switched over, crazy, this particular mode looks like you know, destroying that much. And this is called multiplication mode. At least not at the setting we're in, it wasn't distorted. So we just have to go all the way to the maximum. We have fairly, for the most part, uh, dry signal there. Just pull it back. Okay, it seems as though it's distorting a little bit. I'm bring the level up over here. The stars at night are big and bright. Yeah, I'm not hearing a lot of distortion on this one. That's mode 7. Let's pop over to mode 8. And then we'll move on to the sample rate setting. So there we have mode 8. This is a compare and complement. And we'll level up. Looks like maximum setting, not a lot's going on. Go back to about the halfway mark. And then we start getting a nice little punchy distortion. Seems as though we've lost our distortion again. We're gonna come back to. Bring it in, Mark. 
So you can get a lot of different flavors of distortion, everything from slightly distorted to very distorted to unrecognizable with whatever signal you're feeding in. And as you can hear, uh, whatever you feed into it, whether it be a drum beat or a vocal, gets its own different uh, flavor to it, different distortion type sound going in. So you can imagine, you know, the applications of the module like this. So I'm going to flip back to mode one. And one thing I will caution you about switching modes as well, even though I'm not doing it, is uh, that you noticed as we were moving from mode to mode how the bit crushing setting actually changes what it does. So like, you know, in the mode one, when we were all the way in a counterclockwise position, we had dry signal. But as you flip from mode to mode, that may not mean dry signal anymore in mode five or six, or number three. Uh, so just be aware of that and uh, you know, watch your speakers and watch your level. Be prepared to adjust it accordingly as you're moving along. Just good things to know. All right, so now we're back to our dry signal in bit crushing, all the way down to the minimum. We're in mode one. And now we're gonna be playing around a little bit with sample reduction. 